Sir! Maybe we should sleep on it! Why is his name Bruno? Call him what you want. You just shut him up, okay? Say, Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. And then you go to page 10 and you're kind of like trying to... Come on, louder! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Can you still hear him? I can only hear you! Can you still hear him? No! Just you! Uh, uh, uh. He jumps over you, he uh, smashes into the sea, and you, it looks like he's dead. So this is like, oh no. He's dead! I killed him! Did you see me on the bike? Julia said, look up, and then all of a sudden, I was riding it. How about this? Take me gravity! Because it'll be amazing. Every day, me and Alberto are going to ride someplace new. And every night, we'll sleep under the fish. <laughs> Woohoo! Underdogs forever! It's fine, I'm not human. It's fine, I'm not human. Here, hold this. Here, hold this. Right, walking. Uh, don't worry, you're in luck. I basically invented it. Oh, it's just the greatest thing that humans have ever made. The Vespa. Oh, it's just the greatest thing that humans ever made. The Vespa. Yeah, I get one too sometimes. Alberto, you can't. Alberto, you're gonna die. Alberto, don't put that in your mouth. Luca, it's simple. Just don't listen to stupid Bruno. Just shut him up by saying, Silencio, Bruno. Ah, rules are for... <sighs> rule people. Andiamo! Andiamo! That's Bruno talking! That's Bruno talking! Go, Luca, go! Go, Luca, go! Looking for your tail? Yeah. It's called Phantom Tail. You'll get used to it. Great! I, I mean, not great at all, but fine. Now, walking is just like swimming. Like, it's the same thing, but with, with no fins or tail. And also, there's no water. But otherwise, it's like the exact same thing. Right? That's why we gotta win. The town will cheer our names. Ercole's life will be ruined. See any fish? <laughs> nice. And then... Wait, but then where are all those? Stars. Like the sun. Giant, raging balls of fire. The stars are circled by planets. Look! That's Saturn. It's my favorite. Nice, and this is the Italian. I'll give you a read. Look, that's Saturno. It's my favorite. El più bello. Look, that's Saturno. It's my favorite. So, you boys aren't from around here, huh? Are you in town for the race? The Porto Rosso Cup? Dai, Luca, forza! Don't let him get in your head. You can do this. You can't swim. You can barely ride a bike. Set un disastro. I mean, where are you from? You're not gonna catch me! <laughs> oh, guys, look! <laughs> Underdogs forever! <laughs> Aspetta. Can you dodge obstacles? <gasps> what if an old lady crosses your path? We have one week to train. Pronte? Aposte via! But, Mom, we're always careful. We? We? Luca, thank you. Remember your Uncle Luca. And uh, we go into... Uh, he, he has a bit of a heart attack, and you think it's completely... Oh, this is completely normal. 
Oh, he's okay. Just just punch his heart. Uh-huh. Well, all right, young man. You're not fooling anyone. It's time for us to go home. Uh, well, that I'll teach you to uh, let that be a lesson to you. Honey, uh, hi, yeah, honey, no, I, I, I don't. <laughs> honey, I don't know if I support, I don't, I would, don't do this. Luca! Luca! It's maybe like a little bit of, a, there was some apprehension still, and you're like, Luca! Luca! Imagine a world where summer isn't just a season, yeah! but a state of mind. In Luca, we want to take you to this wonderful, nostalgic look on Italian summers. Classic human town. Pretty cool, right? Luca is about these two sea monsters, and they experience the world outside the water. Have you ever gone to the human town? Most of the story on land is in a fictional place called Porto Rosso. It just sounds nice, doesn't it? Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. Porto Rosso. When people dream of going on a perfect vacation, mm, that's Luca. Literally what Porto Rosso is. Come on, I'll show you some more stuff. Pixar has a history of wanting to make our films feel authentic. And so part of that is doing research. Taking the team to Italy was such a pleasure. I promise you told me everything you see. Sorry, too much? <laughs> Never. Our Pixar research trips make us look like very odd tourists because we're looking at the kind of details that we're trying to capture. We want it to be like a postcard you can jump into and really feel immersed by. The laundry in the wind, kids having watermelon, and people having their espresso. Espresso! <laughs> I love Miyazaki's movies. The texture, the details, the way he draws has been a great inspiration for me. When I saw Enrico's short La Luna, he calls our attention to things around us that are beautiful. I love that this film is an expansion of that feeling. It's so beautiful. Yes, we need it. Luca will, without a doubt, transport you to this vibrant world. <laughs> Watching it, I felt like I was there. Wow. <laughs> Makes me want to move to Italy. I think we should all live there. Sign me up for that, like, right now. Yeah. This is going to be the best summer ever. <sighs> Luca is a story of friendships that are authentic and only found around a certain age. We underdogs have to look out for each other, right? Underdogs! I love this moment in a young person's life, having someone push you out of your comfort zone to discover yourself. There's a certain innocence to this. It's really kind of beautiful. Come on! <laughs> I had the luck of meeting my best friend Alberto when I was 11. He had a ton of passion and was consciously testing his own fears. Who's holding the ramp? The turtle. And the I wonder if I would have had the courage to go and chase my career in animation had I not met my best friend. I really love watching the friendship between Luca, Julia, and Alberto. I'm hoping that it will bring back a lot of memories for people of summers when they were kids. My birthday's in the summer, so a lot of really, really good childhood memories of summertime, and it was always a pool party. Let's go swim. I guess that's how humans swim. Ugh, that's embarrassing. Some kids go away to camp, and you're like, where my dog's at? But then the key ones that are in town, they like to party. are the friendships that teach us lessons build your self-esteem and you have like the sense of belonging i got friends that believe in me who push me like i would tell them an idea that i have and they'd be like make it do it this movie is the perfect example of that take me gravity these friendships that help us find ourselves that is really at the heart of the story of luca yeah! Hey, 
Hey guys, one of the most legendary behind the scene moments comes courtesy of Pixar. In 1994, at a lunch meeting, four of Pixar's key creative heads, John Lasseter, Andrew Stanton, Pete Docter, and Joe Raft came together to map out what to do after their first full length animated film, Toy Story, hit theaters. In one sitting, the four Pixar creative brainstormed ideas and characters that would eventually make it into A Bug's Life, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, and WALL-E. Now remember to click here to below to subscribe or over here for more great content.